How you doing? I'm Kenji and welcome to my cocktail kitchen. In this section I'm going to be looking at simple twists and tips uh, to elevate your drink. With these times drinking is done virtually so whether you use Zoom or house party, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, however you do it, I think it's important uh, to reach out to your friends and family uh, and loved ones. Uh, and if you want to drink uh, then let's make the, the best drink that you can have. Um, so I'm going to be doing various tips and twists, uh, obviously using stuff that hopefully uh, you have or you can get hold of. Uh, but there's lots of variants and twists uh, that I'll be doing. So as I said, uh, simple twists and uh, tips. I'm going to start with the gin and tonic. Uh, it's a classic. Uh, who doesn't love it? In the UK, uh, where I am, it's beautiful sunshine. Great uh, to have it. So I'm going to make uh, a few different versions, four different gin and tonics as well, uh, looking at the different elements uh, to help elevate your game. Obviously, when you're having a virtual call, the look uh, is going to be very important uh, and obviously the taste for you. Um, so the first thing is glass. Um, I've got a regular glass, but I've got lots of different things. Uh, so the next thing would be obviously the ice. Ice is very important. Ice to a bartender is as uh, heat is to a chef. It's really important to um, get good ice. So tip number two, get serious about your ice game. Um, I got lots of different ice uh, for you guys. So in this gin and tonic, I'm just going to put a couple of cubes in there. And this nice big glass representing a copa glass, uh, which is a gin and tonic uh, standard serve glass uh, in Spain. Nice big balloon. Uh, you get lots of fresh tonic. Big glass representing a copa glass, uh, which is a gin and tonic uh, standard serve glass uh, in Spain. Nice big balloon. Uh, you get lots of fresh time. And actually I got this ice uh, online. Uh, I think it was Tesco's. Uh, they call it Super Cubes. Uh, super Ice. So there's still lots of different ice that you can get. As we're going along. So I'm going to make the two drinks. And I'm going to make uh, two further ones. Gin. For your gin and tonic. Choose a brand that you like. That you have uh, at home. I've worked with Diageo uh, and Reserve a lot, uh, so I like uh, Tanqueray number 10. How much are you going to add in? Obviously it's a very personal choice. Um, a standard double in the, the UK is a 50, uh, a single 25, and there's 35s and obviously cocktails uh, are a range. Personally I like around 40, which is kind of a, a European average uh, for a cocktail. So what I thought, I've got a little measuring cup, but also I wanted to measure my egg cup. Egg cups are going to be different, but it's a good. Uh, so let's have a look. Yeah, it's pretty much on 50, uh, which is a, a double. So egg cups, very useful measuring device. Nice. Actually, I'm going to take save this one for later. Third tip for you. Freeze uh, your gin. Makes everything colder, makes everything cooler. Uh, invest in a, a pourer. Very cool. Very cheap, easy to get hold of. And you can control the pour a lot more when measuring. So, poured in the gin, the tonic, get yourself uh, a good tonic. How much tonic to gin? That's personal choice. I think the average flavor that I've done, uh, I've seen people liking is about a, run, a one to three. It's very variant. So this one, just poured it in, in there. Kept it in the fridge, nice and cold. So I've got icy gin, cold, refreshing tonic. I'm not gonna add any garnish or anything in here. As you can see, ice is melting, lots of ice, nice and great. Now I'm gonna add a flourish. Now this video is brought to you by my good friends at Monin. Uh, so I wanted to 
I used to make a drink called a G Fresh, which is a fresh pink grapefruit. Um, a great, easy at home variant using a syrup. So this is Monin's pink, pink grapefruit. Garnish, very important. So in this one, as I said, I'm not gonna have a garnish. Getting nice wedges of lime. Squeeze in, use a fresh one for your garnish to look good on your Zoom call. And stir. If I was gonna buy one piece of bar equipment, It'd be a bar spoon. Excuse me. Uh, I love the bar spoon. It's the most versatile of tools for me. So both gin and tonics. All I've done, added the uh, the Monin pink grapefruit into there. Squeeze the fresh lime. You tell me which would you prefer to have on your call. So the next drink. I was gonna make uh, is if you're not drinking or you don't want alcohol, lots of reasons uh, not to drink alcohol. So I was gonna uh, big glass. Lots of ice. I'm gonna use a non-alcoholic spirit. So it means it's made like a spirit and then the alcohol is taken away. So for those of you not drinking, you still get the benefit uh, and the flavor, but without the alcohol. So those who want a, a non-alcoholic gin and tonic, as it were. So I'm using Seedlip, there's quite a few out there. Slimline tonic. And I'm going to use Monin's strawberry reduced sugar. It's called reduced sugar because obviously you get a lot of the natural sugars uh, from the strawberry. strawberries slice them down so that was a non-alcoholic gin and tonic as it were variation number three Last gin and tonic, I'm gonna make uh, a gin and tonic tea for two. So I'm gonna serve it in a, a coffee mug pot. Uh, it's actually designed by my sister, this one, uh, and two of her cups, and get ice. Now the ice I'm gonna use in here, I've just got some, um, uh, yogurt pots, filled it with water uh, yesterday, and you get a nice big block of ice, easy way of making large cubes at home. So, I'm going to make it in here. So lots of ice teapot. It's going to be for two people. So hold the neck. Make sure you've got the pour it on. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be one serve. So roughly one second is 10 ml. One, two, three, four, five. And 
Nice cold tonic. You can measure it out, obviously you can taste it along the way. Roughly one to three. And then, makes sense. I'm gonna use Monin's green tea concentrate. You should see the recipes posted below if you want more details and exact measurements. We can experiment. Try different styles. And then garnish. Mint leaf plant here. Couple of mint leaves. So that was with the green tea concentrate. Uh, tankery number 10. I used fever tree on a tonic water on that one in a teapot over a nice block of ice. Tea for two. I was gonna do one more drink. Um, for those of you who are having your birthday on lockdown or you have friends uh, that you want to celebrate birthday with but you have to do it uh, over a call, uh, maybe make something special, show them that you're thinking about them on the drink. Uh, so glassware, uh, it's basically going to be a twist on an old fashioned, choose your favourite dark spirit, mine is the Kappa. I'm going to use white chocolate, burning white chocolate, and bitters. If you've got a fresh orange, great. Uh, if you can get orange bitters, great. If you can't, make sure you've got some bitters. Uh, Angostura uh, is worth a purchase, really. Uh, it can change your game. It's like stock uh, in food bitters, so it really uh, play around with it. Big glass, impressive. For ice, why not buy a, I love ice molds. I've got uh, a collection of them, a little geeky. Uh, but no, I think these ones are Cocktail Kingdom, uh, two square inch. Oh. I think this is the smallest your ice cube should be uh, for home, so make sure you've got lots of good ice. If you don't like ice, you can get ice um, metal blocks, but uh, to be honest, in most cocktails, you want the dilution, kind of opens up the spirit. Uh, so I love these. I did sanitize my hands earlier. A gentleman's measure and ladies measure. Officer Kappa. Play around with the ratio. I say, um, try the, the white chocolate for that rich flavor. And then a touch orange bitters. As I said, if you've got an orange, fresh orange, zest it up, use a potato peeler, really get that lovely. Let me just actually have a quick look. Nice orange. That zest thing gets the lovely flavours. Obviously, chocolate and orange go very well together. Stir it through. These are little LED lights. Got them on eBay, I think. But they represent the, the candles, light up your drink uh, for a birthday element. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. 
So you get the, um, the richness of your spirit. You can use a, a non-alcoholic spirit. Um, elevated, where you get the, the sugar uh, from, and the richness of the chocolate. And then the, the extra bitterness uh, from the bitters. Uh, and a fresh uh, on the orange. So if anyone is having their birthday today or watching this when there is, uh, I'll say happy birthday uh, to you. So I think, uh, I think that's gonna wrap things up for this week's five o'clock Kenji's Cocktail Kitchen. I hope I gave you some simple tips and twists on how to elevate your, your gin and tonics uh, and one option for a special birthday uh, cocktail. Uh, thank you for watching.